Hello guys, what's up? It's Shark Talking. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be about Volcar Anatomia. We just received a new collaboration with uh, Volcar Connect. It's very interesting because that both games share Volcars in the title, and I know that you, if you probably search it Volcar in Google Play, you got uh, some results with Volcar Connect. They, these two titles were always a uh, little too close, and on Japanese version we already got this collaboration. I didn't know we were getting this on Global because we are skipping too many collaborations in the West, simply because some of the properties uh, are not so relevant anymore. Well, Volcar Connect is a very old game that's still alive, it, it has even a Steam uh, page, you can install that on PC. So I think that it's a very good mutual uh, collaboration for both parties to get something out of it. And um, like I said, it's Valkyrie. We have a Valkyrie to sum on from the collaboration. That's very interesting. Uh, we just click here on notice first so we can discuss what they have for us. First of all, we have here for crossover event. There are informations about the character. It's called it Scoot. And we have the weapon called a Valkyrie Blade. And there are information about the shop, it's very good because we have gold, silver bagels, and we also have legendary rainbow stones. We can get uh, upgrades to have, um, a new weapon that you can get uh, from free. Just by logging into you are getting a, a, a fake weapon. It's just like the premium weapon, but with less power. And you can upgrade that. It's severe damage, so it may be worth for some. It's a great sword from the holly element. So now let's see what more we have from here. Yeah, we have a crossover challenge, and if people play Volcar Anatomia, uh, Volcar Connect will get these goodies. So this is not for us. And if we play um, Volcar Profile, we will get. Um, if, if we play Volcar Connect, sorry, we will get these rewards here. Six Star Victory Sword is probably uh, a new weapon. I don't remember this weapon here. And getting five copies of it means that we'll be getting. Uh, the action skill max it as well, and some stamina potions and one awakening hammer, along with, with some platinum hammers to max the weapon as soon as possible. It's very interesting to have this because it means that people will have to play both games. We'll probably have more players. I'll try to make some more videos to ch to help new players on this game as well. So uh, after that, we have this information about the crossover campaign, and we will be receiving a lot of login bonus, but most of those will be for comeback login players. Yeah, guys, it's always the same. For uh, I don't really like this, because we are here, we are the faithful players, and they just don't want to give us too much, because they don't want us to have too much, but they always give to players that are returning. So. Uh, everyone will get this first one here. You can see that it's only 1,000 gems and 20 volume seals. Uh, the small one that, that gives only one point. And then last, uh, we have this uh, blade replica. This one was given to everyone from the, the gift box. It's an interesting weapon because it has good uh, status. It, they are not uh, the same as their current premium weapons, but it's uh, average status. It is a severe type of damage. And we can get the remaining uh, copies to increase the actual skill damage to level 5. So it means that it's a free weapon. Uh, it's a great sword. It's a, uh, being a great sword means that if you are summoning for the collaboration, you probably won't use this. But if you are not summoning, you can have some use. I don't know. Uh, it has uh, only uh, the passive called the Great Sword Primer that increases attack by 100. It's not so important. And then we have this very, very impressive comeback login bonus. Now, for players that didn't log in at least two weeks before the 1 of June, we'll get 5,000 gems, one artifact guaranteed ticket, <laughs> three silver chickens, large uh, uh, stamina potions, and two perfect spheres. That's that's amazing. I know how some players must have quit the game recently because of some uh, new releases, probably, or just by getting burned out with the game. This is very interesting for them to come back. But why don't give us some of this? We are only giving, getting 1,000 gems. Give us a little more than that. But okay, that's it is what it is. And now we have also a new user login bonus that players that may can make accounts from 1 of June or 2, 3 of June. Today, they don't have many time to do this. I think they should just um, make this like for the whole week instead of three days. They will also get uh, kind of the same things. You can see here, uh, guaranteed ticket, the same things they were getting. A little better, they will get more silver tickets. But the remaining things are the same. So it's good for people that are coming uh, from Valkar Connect. They can get some gems and please save these gems and just 
summon when you can get for um, enough for 10 pulls. Okay, and then we have this Facebook share campaign. It means that we get 1.2 thousand shares and likes. We will receive 2,000 gems and use experience beads for free. I mean, this is very nice. Uh, I think 2,000 gems is okay. And as experience beads uh, will be enough to level up uh, units, at least to level max. Uh, these are all the information we have about it. this. And then let's start talking about the sumo. Yeah, we have this Scoot. The Scoot is very um, amazing, I think. She's uh, the best collaboration unit we got. And she is not old. So, like I said, the, the collaboration on the Japanese version uh, are not that old. So, meaning that Scoot has very good passives. Good status and can compete with original characters from Hokkaido Profile. This means a lot, guys, because releasing collaboration with units, the uh, core characters, they are just so old, means that it's a fair. People won't uh, may, maybe sumo for the, the characters if they love the characters, but some people want meta, they want to get the best for their bucks. So, Scoot is the best bet you could get. A very strong character from the Holly element. She works pretty well with Awakened Lanet. She actually buffs Holly damage. She will be useful for a lot of time because you can see all of her passes. We'll be talking about her very shortly. Let me just get to her when I finish reading all the notices. We also got this LA Evolution set and Max Level Item set campaign. Uh, you can purchase some of these packs. Like always, the LA is very nice for people that want to compete on Cheers Arena or just get stronger with because of the new caps. I think it's always a good um, pack, but only for people that spend. I, uh, some people that don't spend it, they probably get more by saving their gems and summoning for new characters. And now we also have some new packs to purchase gems. I think this is the same as the, the max um, discount they had so in the past months. I'm not so sure about this because I don't purchase gems. So, well, let's just start talking about the characters and the event to get a little more from this. You see here, Scoot from Rokaio Connect has arrived. It's nice because they changed all the background images and the sound of the game to match uh, Rokaio Connect. So, uh, Scoot has very high Fisco attack, very good HP and, and average Fisco defense and mag defense, just the same as always. She is a critical hit healer, but she needs her orb. You can see already from the first page here, Fated Battle Maiden greatly increases Fisco attack and holy damage, like most of the time, but uh, heals on critical hits. The healing from orb it means that it's 2%. But it's uh, actually good to be used if you don't need a dedicated healer. Most of the, of the healers that use orbs are mostly for people that don't really need a dedicated healer and it's just an extra. So let's see, uh, on the first page here uh, we have um, Holly Elemental. You can see here she is a Holly Elemental character. She is not uh, 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 from the Valkyrie class. She can't lead your squad. This is the best, uh, a bad thing. So if you're coming here from Valkyrie Connect, summoning from Scoot also means that you won't be able to change the main character if you're a starting player. Uh, getting Scoot means that you will have to chase a Valkyrie after Scoot because the original main character from this game is not strong enough for the current content. She is very, very weak. But maybe you can get Scoot now and then save for a new Valkyrie uh, as soon as you can get enough gems. So all of the attacks are from um, Frontal, uh, only the third one launches the enemy. It's nice, I think that's a good combination. And she has a total of 17 hits. That's quite a lot of hits. Uh, the most interesting attack is the third one, Sacred Spin. It's good to note that uh, also uh, Scoot doesn't have a full animation for her profile attack, so it's just a simple attack like most of the other characters, not Valkyries. So Fisco Holly damage to all enemies. Uh, it's a very high Kurfa attack, um, I think the, the damage is very high. Uh, I can show you guys something here that shows it's 12.8. I will be showing uh, this table, uh, thanks Sephira for that, uh, just to try to compare the damage for all their uh, characters in the future. Um, after that we have to check the passives, let me first show you by the, the screen here. We have greatly increase on fire skull and defense. defense uh, we don't have many of this on the game. It's usually just Fisco and Holly or Magico and whatever element it is. So she is very defensive because of that. We can show you the information. And it's... Um, 
really strange. It says attack and yeah, attack and defense. Yeah, um, thirty percent of defense and eighty percent on attack. Seems pretty high, and Holly is sixty percent. Um, most of the characters by this time were getting uh, like eighty and eighty or seventy and seventy, but she loses a little from Holly to get some defense. It's very better to have more defense on this level of the game. And also, let's just see now a uh, greatly increase in damage dealt by Holly on the second passive and also critical hit hate. It's important to have more critical hit hate because of the healing. Uh, let's see how it works now. Uh, only Yellow Orb, she gets 30%, 30% increase in critical hit. It's pretty high. Uh, alongside 30% um, increase also on Holly again. So she tries to get more Holly because she lost on the first passive. Uh, I think it's a very good combination, 30% is very uh, huge increase in critical hit. She has a lot of hits, so meaning that she gets a lot of healing from her orb as well. Um, even though it's only 2% chances, 2% um, healing, it's still a lot because of the number of hits. He has better hits than uh, compared to Shekugan or Leon. And on the last uh, passive we have Blessed Sword that increases her damage dealt by action skills and also she gets more Purify from normal attacks. The increase is 6% on the damage dealt by action skills. It's not so much, but it's this slot from the, the unique orb, so it hardly changes anything. Uh, the limited skill is you have to use one Purify attack to increase physical and holy damage for all allies. This is quite a lot, guys. Two uh, passives. We don't get that type of thing usually. So it's, um, it doesn't really say here, but it seems to be 80% increase on Fisco and Holly. That's really nice. And she also gets uh, AS Assist Holly that increases Holly action skill damage. So you don't really need to change this unless you want to get AS first. Very nice for a character that uh, it's on our collaboration. So let me close this here. So yeah, you see, it's a very good character to increase the number of attacks. And if you are planning to get for the character, you have to go for the orb as well, because the kit of the character uh, simply says to do so. So now uh, um, let's just check for the weapon. Uh, Falkyre Blade, let's see here the weapon, fine weapon traits, so we can check more information. So we have uh, integrity as a part skill, it's not so important to have this, but okay. Um, part skill from the character, sorry. And now we have to talk about the weapon. The weapon, the status are always the same, but it deals colossal uh, physical damage, very nice. But at the same time, it lowers the resist from Holly, defense, and mag defense. It's only 10% of the decrease, but it's very important to have this if you don't want to use like a sacred compass. If you are using something like um, Lox Imperium that gives way more physical attack, using this as this, the first action skill after Lox Imperium is very, very nice. And you can also opt to use um, more damage instead of just casting more buffs. Uh, the passive is just not there, don't have any passive, ES is all is just for the enchant skill. It's strange that it doesn't have, but you can at least uh, give two free skills on this weapon when you increase it to legendary evolution. Well, this is it, we have the information about the character, we have the information about the weapon. I think this is a very good combination of, of sorts, uh, uh, the weapon is good, the character is good. Uh, the only thing uh, here is if you want to summon for this character, uh, she is, like I said, it, she's even from the future. When you compare it to the characters that we have right now, she is stronger than all of them. On the same time being a healer. But we will also be getting very, very soon another characters, especially Valkyries, that will be as strong as her and even better at some points. So it's hard to decide now. And also about the event, just let's just go here to the event of Valkyr Astray. This has a very uh, strong boss, it's 200k recommended might. I will be talk making a video separately or else this video will be too long. On Exchange Boot, like I said, we already have very good things like the um, Valosios, Gold Bengals and Silver Bengals. If you are starting the game right now, maybe you should go after the this Shadow Shoddy V-Blade to increase your replica weapon, the one that was given free. And also the Embers and Orbs. This is, seems to have a lot of Orbs to starting players becoming stronger with less time. I think it's a good option. So, well, this is it, guys. I think this uh, covers everything on this update. I hope you guys get the character that you want. If you want to get uh, Scooty, she's a very good character. If you don't want and if you want to wait, it's okay as well. So, please subscribe if you haven't, and we we'll see each other in the next video. Bye!